Uh, switching gears, pharmaceutical companies Regeneron and Roche are teaming up to create a COVID-19 cocktail. Yahoo Finance healthcare reporter Anjali Kamlani is back with us. Anjali, what are the details here? Thanks, Brian. So what we're hearing is that Regeneron is uh, partnering with Roche for this COVID-19 uh, treatment, and that includes a funding for the clinical trials, which Regeneron has been having trouble uh, enrolling patients with, especially in some of the hot spots. Uh, surprisingly, even you know, with so many patients in the hospitals, but they are having trouble. Uh, Roche is coming in to also help them scale up uh, what could be the approved treatment. And that is something that isn't actually atypical. While they are rivals and they have been in the visual loss and uh, our rheumatoid arthritis space, uh, this kind of partnership is pretty uh, it's pretty interesting right now, considering sort of the unprecedented demand um, that companies are seeing on both in the treatment space and the vaccine space, two different things. But uh, looking overall, the COVID, you know, pharma space, um, we haven't seen as many like this. Of course, we have Pfizer and BioNTech working on a vaccine. We've seen AstraZeneca uh, partner with Oxford for theirs. And all of these are, in fact, for the same reason, to scale up uh, what a smaller biotech is working on. So that's something that we're seeing right now, Regeneron, uh, doing that with Roche right now. Roche did also have a treatment that it was working on. It, it failed to meet the primary endpoints in clinical trials, and they ended that in July. And now they're working on this. They have been really big in the uh, diagnostic uh, testing space, just to, to add a note to that. Uh, but nothing really in the treatment space right now, Brian. So Anjali, just to be clear, this is um, really a temporary fix, I guess, before a vaccine uh, were to hit market to, uh, to prevent new infections. Is that right? Correct. Antibody cocktail treatment and any of those that are coming out with monoclonal antibodies or convalescent plasma, uh, those are sort of seen as the bridges until a vaccine is available because right now the antibody treatments uh, do help with uh, the, the antibody process, right? And so we're looking at that in place of a vaccine and as a treatment, um, some of these types of treatments can be used prophylactically, so in the place of a vaccine, also temporarily, um, but most of them are being uh, developed as treatments for patients who are already in the hospitals. And Anjali, we talked about in, in the first uh, part of the show uh, today, J&J pulling the trigger on a big acquisition. Is it a game changer for them? Absolutely. So their autoimmune space has been growing and expanding. And so that's something that definitely adds to it. Um, and in general, uh, J&J's uh, pharma space has been growing and is a large majority of where their revenue comes from, even though it's known uh, really as a consumer brand, right, with all of their consumer products. Um, this is a large part of where their profit comes from. All right. Anjali Kalani, thanks so much.